since I scooted Hanover postward in this one, and Brian, uh, you were in the sulky for an all the way effort over at Northfield with this one last time out. Tell me about that. Was he at his best? Yeah, he was real handy over there. Uh, caught kind of a soft spot uh, compared to where he came out of the Metro, and um, got to the front real easy and controlled the pace and was very strong finishing. In harness racing, sometimes you're only as good as your last race. In this perhaps um, division, everybody loves, of course, a horse that deserves a lot of respect, richest Hanover. But this one may be tailing off a tiny bit, having gone from undefeated status to a third and second place finish of late. What are your thoughts about I Scoot Hanover playing the role of spoiler here? Well, I'd uh, be very happy if that took place, but uh, Richest Hanover gets all the respect here. Um, he's got a lot of money on his card. He's raced against the best horses of his class and um, services a Mike Lachance today, and I expect that he'll be winging out for the front early. Your horse today is um, has an inside post and the opportunity to use a good early foot, but I also see that your horse appears to be versatile and can come hard charging late. Yeah, he's like racing an old horse, uh, on or off the pace. He's just as strong either way and very, very handy. So I told John just whatever it looks like out of the gate, uh, if you got to wait and come later, that's fine. If you want to use him out of the gate and catch a good early spot, that's fine too. For a lot of the horses on today's card, particularly those in the jug, they actually ship in maybe three, four days out. In the case of a two-year-old like this coming for the stake, when did you get here? We came in yesterday. Uh, we shipped over from Chicago. It's about a five and a half, six hour trip for us. So uh, we jogged him at, at our barn yesterday and then shipped him over yesterday afternoon. So this will be his first trip around the Delaware Oval. Uh, he hasn't jogged here before, but do you think he'll handle it well? He was very good on the half. He trains on a half at Maywood Park and uh, warmed up super, so I think he'll be fine. Brian, you're dealing a lot with young horses of late, and I'm sure you're heading to the sales soon. Do you have a certain approach to breaking and training youngsters? Um, nothing real special other than I like to find uh, horses that look like they're well-developed as yearlings and look like they're going to be uh, nice two-year-olds. Try and get as much out of them early as we can and uh, move on to the next one. So you aren't looking for those that maybe need to grow up a bit that you wait on? No, uh, most of my owners want to race uh, June through all the stakes and they don't want to wait till they're three. So we try and do as much as we can at two. I scoot Hanover. I see all his lines except his first one. When did he make his racing debut? Um, he qualified early and got a little sick on us early on. So we gave him a few weeks off and brought him back in right before the Hanover stakes, uh, which I believe was in July. And then since then he's been uh, right on track with a nice stake schedule going up to the Metro and then over to Northfield. Dealing with colds and sickness, does it happen every year with almost every two-year-old? No, we've been very fortunate this year. Um, just a couple of them got a little bit of something, and this horse was sick a lot more later on in the season. So because of that, we waited and, and uh, tried to make him that much better later on. So what's ahead for Ice Scoot Hanover after today? Uh, his next couple of starts will be down at Lexington, then uh, onto the Breeders' Crown, hopefully, then back to Chicago for the Abe Lincoln, and then hopefully, if he's still strong, we'll go to the Governor's Cup and finish up the year. All right, well, he's going postward here very shortly. I wish you well. Thank you very much. Back over to you.